Hey, so this is my new solar oven. Now uh, I'll show you some of the neat features. Uh, I made one before and uh, it, was, it worked good, and I, but I couldn't get it over a uh, boiling point, which is 212, so I had to make a better one. Um, so here's some of the cool features I did with this. This here is just to hold the glass on when I'm transporting it, and I used pins, and I put a little hard drive magnet hanging there on the side to keep track of all my pins. Because, should I need to break this uh, reflector down, it, it is all uh, made with hinges so, uh, so I can store it. Now this is a pretty good size reflector. Um, it's tin foil I put on there. Um, so I'm going to show you this here. This pin comes out. This little top bracket comes off. And uh, as you can see, the glass here is just a piece of glass I found that was from a... Uh, entertainment center so it is a hardened glass. Now what I have here is I have uh, there's a few different things that pe I've heard people say is that you should paint the inside black. Now I painted my last one black but then my food always had a little bit of the black paint taste <laughs> which I don't like and it's not natural. This way uh, you probably lose a little bit of the energy reflecting back but most of it gets in there and gets reflected onto this cast iron pot. So that's the only thing absorbing all the energy. Um, I I used it a couple days ago to bake potatoes, and the potatoes were so incredibly good, I can't even believe it. I've never had a baked potato that's good, so I, that is that tasty. Now, these are spokes. Um, so what I did is I ground a little groove in the bottom of this cast iron pot to swing on there. And the reason I did this is that uh, I can adjust the angle of this, and then that little pot will just swing to whatever it's at. So if the sun's over there a little bit, I can just prop it up and the, and the thing just swings into place, uh, which I do need to do. This here is a uh, dishwasher seal, and I siliconed around it, and it worked out really good. So the temperature, uh, the last time I used it, it was 60 degrees outside. The temperature went from 60 degrees to 100 degrees in less than two minutes, and then about 15 minutes later, it was uh, at 180 and then within a half hour it was at uh, 240. So, let me show you a little bit about my reflector thing. Again, these are all hinges and this is called the 6040 design. And each one of these hinges comes apart so I can I can take it all the way down to that. This is a this is Luon, which is $10 for a 4x8 sheet and a 4x8 sheet managed to make this whole reflector uh with the exception of uh one piece that I had to kind of make shift together not too bad. I put these little uh, handles on it here so that I can carry it uh, when I want to transport it. And that works out pretty good. It's not too heavy. Now I built this bracket on which it sits, which also comes off, but it's easier for me to leave it together in, and to keep it on that bracket. Now I'm going to set this camera down and, uh, and put it on the thing so that you can see it. All right. That should help a little bit. This goes like this. Now, if you have any questions about this, I'd be ha I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Um, so here we have uh, each side has a hinge. I didn't feel it necessary to to put uh, more than that. And I'm trying to hurry so that I can show it all to you without, uh... So I just put these pins in here to hold the hinges on. And, uh, if I have a little more time and didn't have the camera, I'd just tap them in just a little bit. Now those handles on that, on those sides are to carry it. And then these handles here are just so that I have something to grab onto when I need to lift it to adjust the angle. Now this is a pretty cool thing I found out. I. I made quite a few mistakes while building this, but uh, this took me a couple weeks of my spare time to build, and uh, it turned out really good. I'm happy I took my time with it. This here is a bar that goes, I don't know if I can get it, one second, I'll have to hang tight. Alright, so this here, this bar, Now the good thing about this bar is it doesn't block too much sunlight, but it also keeps it from folding around. I did not want to have to anchor that 
thing on all sides. And as you can see, it's it's a good sized thing. I mean, that's a that's three feet tall there. You know, that's up to my waist. I actually had made it bigger, but a mistake made me cut off about a foot, which is probably good because, again, I got that temperature up to 240 within a half hour. Had those reflectors been that much bigger, I may have had to uh, cut the temperature down. Now, there's something about roasting with the sun that just uh, just is really a beautiful experience because of the flavor it puts in food is like nothing you've ever ever imagined. It kind of kind of brings you back to a part of yourself you didn't know you lost. Um, I didn't go with the 3M, even though they say the 3M is a little more reflective. I went with tin foil, um, and if you could see my paint job, it's probably uh, I'm one, I'm an atrocious painter. I just glob it on, but I globbed it on there good, and that should keep it if it happens to hit a little rain and whatnot. It should keep it sealed fairly good. So there she is in all her glory. Uh, I'm really proud of it, and I really enjoy. I can't wait till a sunny day. You can say this this day here is a bit overcast. We do have the beautiful trees there. Uh, can't wait till a sunny day. I'm gonna I'm gonna concoct a soup or a stew or something and and brew it up in there. But again, I think that's great to be able. I roasted uh, six potatoes in about four hours, and uh, it was free. You know, so you can imagine the money that saves in an oven. Bata baked potatoes take quite a while to roast right in the oven, and again, the flavor was just phenomenal. So. Uh, Alrighty, there it is in all our glory, and I still have my old uh, thermometer in there that I pulled out of that broiler room. Um, it'll actually, the temperature will jump up in there if I leave it out here. Uh, I usually get quite a bit of condensation because my crock pot isn't sealed in there, so uh, what I have to do is, uh, after I use it, I, I had to kind of wipe it out with a towel and leave it open to air dry. Now I could seal, I could put a sealed cooking pot in there and I wouldn't get that condensation, but uh, I'm not too worried about it. I like the old cast iron. gives gives the food a lot of flavor. But isn't that a beautiful, isn't that a beautiful uh, solar oven there? Yes, indeed. All right. So if you have any questions, again, be, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Uh, I'm happy that I took my time. And as much as I'm not used to that, I, I get real anxious when I have to <laughs> wait to see the finished project. Uh, I am very pleased with it. So all right. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.